gonna show you how to do a uh, what we call a truck patch, which is a little bit bigger than a small garden. It's kind of like a uh, a small commercial garden, like a homestead garden, probably like an acre on up. And uh, what you get to be doing about an acre on up, you, you can't really walk behind a little push tiller and a, and a hoe no more because it's just too much. So I'm gonna show you all the tractor implements and all that uh, arrangements and how to set them up, how to take them off, all that by yourself or whatever it is you gotta do. And it's uh, just a few qu uh, pieces of equipment and you can do a lot just with a few pieces of equipment. All right, uh, today we're gonna make some rows uh, for a fall, fall garden. And uh, there's several different ways of doing it. Several, there's different implements for different tractors and there's uh, num there's just countless ways of doing it. This is how I do it and most people around here in this area do it. We uh, got a tiller on a tractor. And we make like a light pass on the top soil when the ground is right. The ground has to have a little bit of moisture because we live in a heavy, heavy clay area. If there's no moisture, the ground is going to be hard like a rock and it's going to just bounce and it's not going to do nothing. So, preferably three, four days after rain or two, three days after rain. So there's a little bit of moisture in the ground. You can see there's at least a little bit of moisture. You can kind of make like a little ball. If it's anything drier than that, it's not gonna work out. And you can probably see me do it, but I'm gonna first make a light pass. Just to kind of break up the top soil. The top soil is gonna be dry from that hot sun. And now in the second pass, I'm gonna go down deep. A little deeper and probably that third pass I'm gonna go down all the way and with this tiller that's probably about eight inches maybe ten inches I'm not too sure and I'm gonna till it all the way down as far as I can go and then we'll come back with some uh hippers or row makers whatever you call it we, in the south we have different names for it but it's basically the same thing that it's a hipper or row maker it's all the same and I'm gonna hip them up and make some little rows or big rows however I set my my gangs all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do that The wrong one is always on, and if you got the right one on, the angle ain't right, so you can always have to change. Uh, this is a, an aggressive angle. I used it to hip up potatoes, throw dirt up on a hill. It's not so good for making a row. It'll make the row too narrow up. I want my these rows since it's gonna be uh, the lettuces and leafy greens. I want my rows to be kind of big and wide. So I'm gonna change the angle on them to do that. Oops, yeah. Sorry, it's good. And it's about to rain. We've got about 15 more minutes. And if it rains, I got to wait three more days and throw it all over. And also, this angle is important too. I'm going to try to. Not to be too aggressive, I can always make it aggressive if I want to. Alright, I'm moving over to the middle slot. I'm going to put a little bit of a pitch on it. And, uh, and I got them, even with my tires, which should give me a row probably about right at three feet wide, maybe. And it's going, the first pass is going to probably be about, probably about four inches high. And come by and pass again and be about another six to seven inches high. And just keep making passes based on how high you want it based on whatever kind of vegetable you're growing and uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and jump on it and make a few passes and see, see if the angle's right and also this can dictate your angle too make it more aggressive but, uh, speed is your dictator you gotta go a certain speed to be able to throw the dirt up on your uh, rows if you're not going fast enough, it's just going to roll it and ball it up on the side. So you got to have a little speed to kind of throw it up. And for this tractor, it's like high first. Each tractor is different.
belly gives a little bit of an angle on it, not much. And the way I dictate it is uh, I just look down the bar and I look at this and I can almost level it out. And with thousands of dollars worth of equipment, you can have the satisfaction of an independence of growing your own vegetables. <laughs> and it's raining, so I'm... Oh, I gotta wait now. <laughs> I gotta wait I don't, you know, the three, four days out there dry to finish the rest up. Because the ground has a little moisture because it just rained, it's throwing big chunks out. But other than that, it's doing real good. And uh, that's all there is to it. If you got the equipment, you can do acres of it, really. There's no limit to it. But also, like I said, I've done it for many years just with a little tiller. All I did was pass a little tiller when I walked behind. Same thing with the tractor. Exactly what I did with the tractor, I did with the, by hand. Passed it with a tiller, tiller, made a little small row for the hoe, made a little trench, put the potatoes, and hold it back up. It's the same process, it's just got a piece of equipment that does it for you. So that's how I do it, and pretty much everybody else in this southern area, we do the same thing with the same pieces of equipment. <laughs>